guys, Debbie here. I wanted to show you some soaps I'm working on for Christmas gifts. Uh, I got this idea over on Soaping 101 where she made um, soap on a rope for your pet and made these for my family members. Um, a bunch of them have dogs and uh, I thought it would be fun to give it a try. I used the recipe that I'm comfortable with um, and I used a blend of two different fragrance oils, bergamot and tea tree, because I read online somewhere in a post that those are supposed to be good for your dogs. Um, so I mixed it up and I poured it in the molds and then I cut a piece of straw off and stuck down inside each of these to make a hole for the rope to go. So I made these last evening and I'm not really sure. We'll see if we can get them unmolded. I'm going to try one. If I can't get them unmolded, then I'm going to stop and come back again when, when they're ready to be unmolded. So we'll start over here on the corner. I have um, a cardboard box that I put the soaps in to kind of um, sleep <laughs> and wait for that 24 hour unmolding period. Um, and when I pulled it out, the box, it was warm and toasty on the inside. So they've been baking away in there. Anyway, I'm just going to give it a little pull here on the edges. And uh, we'll see what we end up with. Hmm. That one's a little stuck and a little sticky. But, oop, let me get back on frame here. So it was a little tiny stuck around the edges but I'm able to move this straw out of here so I'm just going to take the straw out and that'll make a good spot for the rope when I put that through there for for the soap on a rope. So there's one of them. I started to swirl in the molds and then I realized you're not going to see it so why? So I had this green color and it kind of turned out like baby pea color green so <laughs> I don't know not really attractive as far as that goes it might be cute on the inside but um, after I realized that you're really not going to see the squirrels um, I just kind of stopped anyway it's a little bit sticky um, but yeah I think it came out okay made some squirrel swirly decorations on the top there so there's one Let's see if we can get this next one out might hear my puppies playing in the background. There's the other one. It came out nice. I'm just going to push the straw on through here. The second one. I mean, their dogs won't mind what color the soap is, right? Pull this one out on the edge. And push the straw through. I'll clean them up a little bit once they're a little more um, hardened. Get out of there, straw. There's that one. Yeah, I kind of overfilled them, so it's a little full. Go over here. That one's in good shape. And a couple more. Yeah, I really I'll need to go back and really clean the edges of these up. But that's all right. The dogs won't mind. And two more to go here. Uh, 
last one. Oh, you can kind of see the green showing through on that one. Get out of there. Okay, that whole uh, straw worked perfectly for these. So that's these, and then I had um, a little bit left over, so I just chucked them in this mold. Not my favorite shade of green. It kind of looks like, I don't know, pea green. But um don't want to waste it. It's still, just because the recipe was for the dogs, it's still very, um, like I said, it's a recipe I'm comfortable using right now. And it seems to lather and do really nice. So no reason we can't use them. I won't get fleas in the summer. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this one out. And... There's that one. And one more here. Sorry about that, wiggling all around here. Uh, they came out a little rough. They probably could have used another few hours in the mold, but again, these are just, I'll just use these, so. Anyway, that's what they look like, and I'll be back in, I probably need to give them another day or so, but I'll be back, and I'll show you um, what I did with the strings, and then how I'm going to use them for a decoration for Christmas. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so I got to be honest, when I first unmolded these, I was not pleased with the color. Um, I thought it looked kind of, I don't know, pukey green, and I, I just wasn't loving it at all, but... I've given it a day or two to cure out, and I actually love the color. It's a brambleberry color. Um, the color is called Kermit Green, and yeah, I hated it when I first took these out of the mold, but I really like them now. The greens just turned um, a really pretty shade after they had a chance to cure out a little bit. So, loving the color of it. So, what I did with these is... Um, I took the straws out of them and um, I put this piece of rope through it. I was totally inspired um, by Soaping 101 over on her channel. She did a video where she made um, some pet soap and she put the rope through it because, like she said, pets are wiggly. And when you've got them in the tub and you're trying to get them washed off, um, you can hang on to your soap this way and get them cleaned. So I thought that was a really good idea. So that's what I did. A little rope on here. Like I said, I love the color of green that this turned out. Um, you can see the different color in the back. I really like that. Not Each bar is obviously a little bit unique as far as the colorant goes. This one's a little more creamy colored. And you can see some of the, the green there. Um, it'll be swirled on the inside. Not that it matters because pets don't care, but it'll be fun. Um, here's the... Um, round ones that I took out, if you can kind of see the colorant on those. And then this one is just a little bit more creamy, kind of whitey and whitey. <laughs> Whitish in color versus um, this one. So I'm pretty pleased with the coloring. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to like it. Um, so those are going to continue to cure out and they'll be ready for Christmas. Um, the other thing, I had purchased these bags right here from Hobby Lobby with the intent of putting the soaps down inside of here. Yep, not going to work. The soaps are just a little bit too wide to fit down inside of here. So, a change in plan. I really liked them and I wanted to use them. So, I decided that I would just make them little treat bags for the dogs and fill them full of bones. Our family is a big dog family and uh, my mother-in-law just got actually a new puppy so this will be perfect for them but um, I used a printable from I can never say her name. Let me see if I can just show you if it'll show up here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to link her down below. She's got some really, really fun printables. Uh, well, maybe you can see it. Let's see. 
maybe. Anyway, um, I'll link her down below. It was two dollars for the printable, and it's got all these little pet tags on it that I thought were going to be really cute. And so I just cut them out, and then I just use a little trim around here, hot glued them on, and then I had these snowflakes from um, Hobby Lobby from another project that I did. So I'll just fill these full of bones for the doggies, and then each of them will get some bones and a soap. Um, I'm going to wrap the soap um, and put a little label on it so everybody knows what's in it. I think I'm going to do something like this where I've got the paw print paper and I'm just going to wrap it around and then put a sticker on the outside of it, a label so that you can see what's in it. Um, yeah, and I'll come back and I'll show you what that's going to look like, but I wanted everything to just kind of match and I thought that would that would work. So I'll be back in a little bit and I'll show you how the label and the packaging turned out for these, but really liking them. <laughs> 